hey guys welcome back to my channel in today's video i'm going to show you guys this amazing hair growth spray that will grow your hair much faster if you're suffering from hair fall thinning hair and hair breakage girl this video is definitely for you this hair growth spray will boost and thicken your hair like never before only if you're consistent consistency is the key as I always mention in all my videos consistency is what is going to give you that result if you're new to my channel welcome if these are the type of content you like to watch don't forget to subscribe to my channel. In this channel, I do DIY videos that can help you to grow your hair using natural ingredients. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel. So if you're interested, you know what to do. Grab a seat. Let's get into it. So the first ingredient we're going to need for this leave-in spray is aloe vera. So I'm going to go ahead and cut the aloe vera into small pieces. Aloe vera causes scalp irritation for some people because it contains latex. So um, because we're going to be using this spray as a leave-in, I'm going to suggest for you to um, soak your aloe vera for one hour, okay? So to remove the latex so you don't, you know, have any scalp irritation whatsoever. I went ahead and add water to the aloe vera, then I cover it for one hour. I'm going to move the aloe vera aside, then move on to the next ingredient. Our next ingredient for this overnight hair growth spray is rosemary. So you can use fresh rosemary leaves if that's what you want to use, okay? I personally like fresh rosemary leaves. If you have the fresh one, go ahead and use those i personally prefer the fresh one both are as effective to be fair but i just prefer the smell of the fresh rosemary leaves rosemary has many benefits and it is very beneficial for our hair it stimulates and improves circulation to the scalp which encourage hair growth it's amazing for scalp issues such as dandruffs dry scalp flaky scalp and also it improved the overall health of your scalp for those that want to know the measurement of this recipe i'm going to be adding one tablespoon of rosemary leaves into the mason jar the next ingredient i'm going to be adding is fenugreek leaves so again you can use the fenugreek seed for me i just feel like to use the fenugreek leaves so if you have the fenugreek seed you can go ahead and use those as well so fenugreek has been shown to be effective against hair loss and baldness fenugreek nourish the hair and the scalp it increased thickness of your hair it also helps to fight against head lice dandruffs in addition to this it strengthen and soften dry damage and brutal hair it's also amazing at boosting hair growth like crazy so i'm going to be adding one tablespoon of fenugreek leaves into the mason jar the next ingredient we're going to be adding to this hair growth spray is basil basil is extremely beneficial to speed up hair growth it improves scalp circulation that stimulates hair follicles and promotes new healthy hair it also boosts hair growth and it also keeps the scalp healthy it prevents premature graying of hair as well i'm going to be adding one tablespoon of basil once i'm done adding all my ingredients i went ahead and add one and a half cup of hot water so make sure your water is extremely hot so as i said before make sure your water is extremely hot because i'm going to be infusing it for two hours personally i would like to infuse it longer but because i need my spray now so i'm going to only infuse it for two hours but i would suggest if you have time on your hand um you can infuse it for 24 hours or longer it just depends on preference for me two hours is fine for me okay 
both methods are very effective so pick whatever method that works best for you so once i'm done adding my hot water i went ahead and closed the mason jar i'm going to allow the ingredient to sit in the hot water for two hours you can allow it to infuse for 24 hours 12 hours it just depends on preference after one hour i'm going to go ahead and move the spray aside then remove the gel from the aloe vera so aloe vera is amazing for our hair it helps to strengthen your hair it increases blood circulation to the scalp which lead to hair growth it helps to regrow the hair it prevents scalp issues such as dandruffs and alopecia it also adds shine to your hair as well So once I'm done removing the aloe vera gel, this is how it looks like. Now I'm going to go ahead and add it to the blender. Once I'm done blending, this is how it looks like. Now I'm going to go ahead and strain out my aloe vera. So guys, do not skip this step. This step is so important guys, do not skip it. If you do, you're going to have chunks of aloe vera in your hair. Trust me guys, you don't wanna do that. It's not a good look, okay? So make sure you don't skip and follow the instructions. Also make sure when you're straining your aloe vera out, okay? Make sure you use anything that has a very tiny hose because you don't want the aloe vera chunks to go in your hair trust me guys it's not a good look okay so make sure you use um something that has a very tiny hose so that you don't have chunks of aloe vera in your hair so once i'm done straining this is how the aloe vera looks like so it's been about two hours now i'm sure my hair growth spray is ready so i'm just going to move the aloe vera aside and i'm going to strain my hair growth spray so guys if you're still watching this video don't forget to give this video a thumbs up subscribe to my channel and also put on your post notification so each time i upload videos such as this you'll be the first to watch So once I'm done straining, this is how it looks like. Now I'm going to go ahead and mix both ingredients together, which are the aloe vera gel and the hair growth spray. I'm also going to be adding Jamaican black castor oil. So I'm going to be adding one tablespoon of Jamaican black castor oil. Jamaican black castor oil helps to thicken your hair. It's amazing at boosting hair growth. It prevents hair breakage and it also strengthens your hair as well. You can add any oil of your choice. As I always mention in all my videos, add whatever that works for you. If Jamaican black castor oil doesn't work for you, don't add it. Add whatever works for you, okay? What works for me might not necessarily work for you. So always do what works for you. Basically, just add whatever your hair loves. Then I'm going to add a few drops of tea tree and peppermint essential oil. So this part is optional. You don't have to add it. You can skip it if you don't like essential oil. The hair growth spray is powerful enough without the essential oil. Or if you just don't like the essential oil that I'm adding, add whatever that works for you, okay? Once I'm done adding all the ingredients, I went ahead and mix. After mixing, I transfer the hair growth spray into an applicator bottle for easy use. So this is how the hair growth spray looks like and it's ready to be used. Now I'm going to show you guys how to apply this treatment to your hair. So in today's video, I'm going to be using this treatment as a leave-in spray. So I started off by saturating the hair with a hair growth spray. This hair growth spray is suitable for adults as well as kids. I went ahead and applied the hair growth spray to the scalp. So remember that we soaked the aloe vera for one hour 
earlier on so it's not going to cause any scalp irritation okay so um go ahead and apply the um, hair growth spray to the scalp healthy hair and new growth start at the scalp so improving your scalp health should be the first step in any attempt in increasing hair growth okay so make sure to apply this hair growth spray from your scalp to your ends as well all the ingredients we added are all natural and won't cause any harm to your hair. So basically, once you have rinsed out your deep conditioner, you can use this as a hair rinse. You can also use this hair growth spray if you have a protective style, such as box braid, twist, cornrow, or locks. If you're losing your edges, this treatment is amazing at regrowing your edges really fast. So always remember to moisturize your hair anytime you apply a leave-in spray. Otherwise, your hair is going to be dry, okay? A water base will not only moisturize your hair. So always make sure to apply your leave-in cream or your hair is going to dry. You can apply this spray to your hair twice a week or you can apply it to your hair every day. You can store this hair growth spray in the fridge for up to seven days. So guys, don't forget to apply your leave-in cream, okay? Otherwise, your hair is going to dry. I don't want you guys to be saying that you tried the recipe and your hair was dry. Make sure to apply your leave-in cream once you apply this spray. Otherwise, your hair is going to be dry. So guys, we have come to the end of this video. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, comment in the comment section, if you have any question for me also don't forget to turn on your post notification so that anytime i upload new video you'll be the first to watch thank you guys so much for the love and support on this channel i really do appreciate every single one of you guys thank you guys so much and i'll see you guys in my next video thank you guys bye